The thyroid gland is an organ in the body located in the central region of the lower neck. It sits right between the collarbone and the Adam's apple in the shape of a bow tie. The job of the thyroid gland, like other endocrine glands, is to make a hormone that can be secreted into the bloodstream and circulate throughout the body. The thyroid gland produces thyroid hormone, which is used to regulate metabolism. Thyroid hormone levels are closely regulated by the body. However, sometimes thyroid hormone can be over or underproduced in the thyroid gland. A simple blood test can be used to test thyroid hormone levels. When the thyroid is found to be producing too much hormone, it creates a condition known as hyperthyroidism. And when the thyroid gland is found to be producing too little hormone, the patient has a condition known as hypothyroidism. Fortunately, both of these conditions are easily treatable. To regulate thyroid hormone levels, a patient can take a pill containing the synthetic form of thyroid hormone. This pill acts as a complete replacement for thyroid hormone and helps maintain normal thyroid hormone levels in the blood. When a patient undergoes the surgical removal of the thyroid gland, also known as a thyroidectomy, they will take the synthetic thyroid hormone for the rest of their life to maintain normal thyroid levels. These patients can expect to enjoy a normal and healthy life by simply taking this thyroid hormone pill once a day. Thyroid hormone levels are regulated by another hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH. TSH is produced in the brain and regulates the production of thyroid hormone with a feedback mechanism. Here's how it works. The brain detects the amount of thyroid hormone in the bloodstream. If there is not enough thyroid hormone in the blood, the brain secretes TSH. The TSH then stimulates the thyroid gland to secrete thyroid hormone into the blood. When the brain detects the reverse and there is too much thyroid hormone in the blood, it stops producing TSH. The thyroid gland is divided into two lobes that are connected by a small band of thyroid tissue known as the isthmus. The lobes are situated on either side of the windpipe or trachea. Directly above the trachea is the larynx, also known as the voice box. Behind the trachea is the swallowing tube, known as the esophagus. There are several important nerves that are situated immediately adjacent to the thyroid gland. These nerves are the equivalent of electrical wires in the body, bringing electric neural activity to the muscles of the larynx. The recurrent laryngeal nerves are responsible for moving the muscles of the larynx so they can produce sound. They are located behind the thyroid gland and run adjacent to the trachea and esophagus. At the upper end of the trachea, the recurrent laryngeal nerves enter the larynx and sit on the right and left sides of the trachea. The left recurrent laryngeal nerve controls the left vocal cord and the right recurrent laryngeal nerve controls the right vocal cord. The back and forth movement of the vocal cords produces sound for normal conversational speech. Another important set of nerves called the superior laryngeal nerves pass through the upper region of the thyroid gland. Just like the recurrent laryngeal nerves, there are two superior laryngeal nerves. These nerves control the tension of the vocal cords, which is responsible for the modulation of the pitch and volume of the voice. The superior laryngeal nerves are essential for raising the voice, for yelling and singing. A final and important structure, important to mention due to its close proximity to the thyroid gland, is called the parathyroid gland. There are usually four parathyroid glands that reside on the back side of the thyroid gland, with one on each side of the upper and lower ends of the thyroid lobes. The parathyroids are also endocrine glands, so they too produce and secrete hormones. Each parathyroid gland releases parathyroid hormone, which regulates calcium levels in the blood. They control the amount of calcium absorbed from the diet, as well as the amount of calcium excreted from the kidneys into the urine. The parathyroid glands additionally help to regulate the amount of calcium in the bones. A normal level of parathyroid hormone is required for healthy bones. While the name parathyroid reflects its location next to the thyroid gland, its hormones operate completely separately from thyroid hormone. During thyroid surgery, the parathyroid glands, which are each about the size of a grain of rice, must be carefully separated from the thyroid gland without compromising the parathyroid blood supply. 
This is crucial because it will preserve normal levels of parathyroid hormone in the bloodstream. Fortunately, there are normally four parathyroid glands, and a person can usually regulate calcium levels with the amount of parathyroid hormone produced by a single gland. Thyroid surgery can involve the removal of all or part of the thyroid gland. There are various terms used to define the amount of thyroid gland tissue that is removed. In most surgeries, either half or the entire thyroid gland is removed. A hemithyroidectomy, also referred to as a lobectomy, refers to the removal of half of the thyroid gland. It is extremely rare to have less than half of the gland removed during surgery. A total thyroidectomy refers to the removal of the entire gland. This procedure is used to treat thyroid cancer. In circumstances in which there are nodules or abnormalities in the isthmus of the gland, an isthmusectomy must be performed to remove the central portion of the gland that connects the right and left lobes of the thyroid. This module will focus on the removal of the entire thyroid gland for thyroid cancer. There are many different reasons for the removal of all or part of the thyroid gland. This includes both benign and malignant conditions. Some benign conditions, such as Graves' disease, which is the overactivity of the thyroid gland, or a goiter, which is the enlargement of the thyroid, can cause local symptoms, such as breathing difficulty due to compression of the airway, or swallowing problems related to the compression of the esophagus. They may also cause distortion of the contour of the lower neck, creating cosmetic issues, which may lead a patient to elect to remove the thyroid gland for cosmetic reasons. To understand the details of the particular type of thyroid operation that is being planned in your particular situation, please view the specific module related to either a hemithyroidectomy or a total thyroidectomy.